sick, violent leftist arrested for stealing Make America Great Again hat from teen has a GoFundMe page launched in his honor. And I was just, I just put up the video that, that I was saying, shouldn't this guy be arrested for what he did? I mean, come on. And he was arrested, just came up on, uh, uh, this is by Jacob Wohl uh, for the gatewaypundit.com. A violent leftist named Kino Jimenez uh, lost his mind and hurled a drink at a teen uh, dinner and uh, stealing his Make America Great Again uh, hat at a Whataburger restaurant in Texas on 4th of July, yeah. Uh, Kino was later fired and arrested for abusing the children. Now this, Kino Jimenez's leftist comrades started a GoFundMe page following his firing after the video of him assaulting the Trump-supporting teen went viral. So Paul Joseph Watson here, yeah, let's all raise money for a guy who assaults kids. Uh, great optics there, dumb butt. Yeah, look, his goal was 85000 was the goal, but no, no mention of how much he did get. Uh, uh, justice for uh, this, this character and his mom? What? What does his mother have to do with that? The GoFundMe page was quickly deleted, as big league politics first reported. The political left almost made another gigantic mistake that would have added to a string of poor public relations moves over the past few weeks. Kino Jimenez is currently the victim of a witch hunt. A GoFundMe account started on behalf of Jimenez. Uh, said his rash retaliation towards a couple of teenage boys was unnecessary and they do deserve an apology, but currently right-wingers have, uh, listen to this, currently right-wingers have opted for an unethical approach to the viral video. The page was quickly removed, presumably when the founder of the campaign realized that raising 85 grand for a 30-year-old deadbeat who assaulted and cursed out 16-year-old boys would be a bad optic for Democrats. Otherwise, they would have funded it. On Thursday evening, Jimenez was arrested and charged with felony theft following his Wednesday outburst. Look at that criminal. As reported by Heavy, the above photo is a 2017 mugshot of Jimenez, according to Bexar County. The current one was not yet available. Jail records indicate that Jimenez is being booked on a felony state charge from uh, for theft from a person. Kino Jimenez could serve up to six months in jail and fined up to 200 k if he is convicted of felony theft. And it's all on tape. It's all on tape. It, he is going to be convicted. And this was a previous mugshot. So this guy's got a record on top of that. You know? I mean, the di disgusting, disgusting antics of the left. But they're, you know, you have to be careful because these people are dangerous because they are unhinged. They're not logical. They're they're deranged there's some sort of a a sickness that they're uh, that, that they they don't follow the normal rules of a of, of normal society you can't go uh, grabbing people's hats just because you don't like what it stands for and throwing drinks on them and especially uh, kids since they're so concerned about the children you see what i'm saying you know, it, it, they're going to lose, the Democrats are going to lose, and they're going to lose big time. They are going to lose big time because even the uh, liberals are starting to wake up and walking away, absolutely. Who would want to be involved with a party of violence like that and intolerance? And they claim to be the party of love and tolerance, but only if you agree with them. All hell breaks loose if you don't. You see, 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.